Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Spirit Place Slay the Spire. This is a game we're gonna do dailies because I'm I'm on a winning I'm on a winning streak of one. That's a pretty decent score. But on the Ironclad, start with the five copies of a single card. Maybe we get to pick it. May ignore paths from choosing the next room and travel to nine terrors. Red, resting in rest sites heals 100% of your HP, but then it costs a five max HP. We can do this because it's not Ascension. <laughs> Let's see how the uh, second and third pages go. So I'm expecting maybe like a thousand points if we're lucky. We should really start paying attention as to what gives us like our uh, havoc. This is crazy. So call me maybe. Do, 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 do. So what we want for Havoc to work, I think, are like expensive cards. One, two. We also want a Perfect Elites three. So there's three on our way here. Perfect Elites will be absolutely awesome. But this is just <laughs> ridiculous to say the least. Um, I guess we'll just start by flinging. Well, like, what's the best we're gonna drop with Havoc? A Bash. That's about it. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, we'll just off you, and, uh, sure. There we go. We got him. <laughs> With a bash. Why not? Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, so what can we do to make Havoc work? Like, now we need to exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand, gain five block for each card. That actually might work. If you can second wind the Havocs. I think it's worth a shot anyway. I don't think it's worth it right now. I mean, do this and then take nothing. Well, sorry. I thought it gave initial block by itself. I was mistaken. Well, if you guys are just going to hit me. I mean... Okay. Sure. Let's go with the third one. Kill one. Thank you. We're going to take ten. Which is not cool. Are you ever going to stop attacking? There we go. Apparently not. All right, so give me like two, thank you two attacks. That's all we needed. Beautiful. Well done, brain. Uh, I mean a wild strike seems pretty good since we're exhausting stuff. We do want to go this route to fight the elite this way. I mean, doesn't really matter which way we go. Remove, transform, or upgrade. If you upgrade a havoc, they turn into zero cost cards. Can you havoc a havoc? I suppose you could. Well, I mean, let's let's join the pain train. I mean, I'm not gonna exactly go against. Oh, I forgot. We can also transcend whichever way we want to go. So it goes into our draw pile. We second wind. It'll get rid of havoc. Just kind of what we want it to. Uh, I think we play havoc though. All right. Well, when you're on a roll, we'll keep on rolling, I guess. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right. Zero cost Havoc. We Havoc to Havoc. Give me a strike. Thank you. One step closer to the edge. And I'm about to break. So we probably will visit, revisit Ascension Mode eventually. Dude, Iron Waves are so good. It's a block and an attack. But we will visit Ascension Mode. That's what I'm saying. Oh my goodness, this... <laughs> Uh, so this will be 15 block, and they're dealing 18 damage. Well, we might as well do our free Havoc and see what it gives us. All right, well. Then we bash, and then we second win, get rid of the other two, and we get 10 block going. That is a thing. But expensive cards, Brain. We need expensive cards. There's one down, and I think we go, yeah, yeah take one damage, but we'll hopefully draw three attacks. Well, that's fine, too. You're not dead. Darn it. <laughs> uh, let's see what this gives us. Okay. I guess we're going the, the path of the block. I don't feel like taking damage yet. Two strikes, please. Give me a strike, please. Thank you. Being weak is a pain. Um... Crowd control seems like a very good idea. We do need to fight an elite. I 
We might as well go. Give me a bash. Or that. <laughs> oh my goodness, this could get this could get deadly really quick. So we need to keep adding cards. I'm I'm actually kinda scared. Give me the bash. It's not a bash. Uh like we play the havoc and get a bash, it's gone forever. Alright, well. We're going. Here we go. Stand back. So ways of adding an amazing amount of cards or using second wind is also pretty neat. Just get rid of the havocs. Thin our de our, our deck will thin itself. Yeah, I think we do that and that, and we're just gonna go nuts on you for a minute. I know we're going to take some damage next turn. Yeah, he starts making us weaker, which is just a big pain. Would have been a good turn to uh, draw the, um, what's it called? Second wind. That's okay. And we're just going to go nuts on you. We might as well play Havoc. Havoc, Havoc. <laughs> and then a strike. Hey, well, that kind of worked out. All right, so now it becomes a big pain. So we do need to, to bash him. We'll play Havoc. Hopefully a strike comes out. Thank you. And uh, that's all we got. So two strikes end you. We're an iron wave. And a strike. Beautiful. Whetstone. Hey, well, wild strike was good. I think a uh, ooh, juggernaut's pretty awesome. And a true grit to get rid of the riffraff. Upgraded. How are we looking? But oh, we have to. Oh, I got another lead. I got to fight. I can't upgrade it there. So we we gotta hit up some question marks before we get to the elite. We need that question mark, I suppose. Um, what do you look like upgraded? Seven damage, so it still costs two. I don't think, we, we're not necessarily going the block route. Like, this would be a good... We need anger, honestly, is what we need. Because you play anger, it makes a copy of itself, puts it back in your deck, so you, you can havoc in anger. Almost to infinitum, if you... Especially upgrade them. Like adding in true grit might be a bit too, a bit too much. We're gonna do it anyway. All right, question mark. Let me upgrade something. We're gonna anger the much. We're at 38 HP. <laughs> Gotta keep in mind how many HP you got, buddy. We'll become cursed. We're exhausting stuff. We'll, we will fight the monster. Here we go. All right, we're gonna wild strike. We're gonna havoc. We're gonna havoc a havoc and then defend. Sure. There we go. He's bad, he's mad. Yeah, and I don't think that's also a skill, which is kind of a pain, because he gets stronger. He's gonna hit us for quite a bit. Um, I think the potential for more damage, we have a Havoc and do a defend. There we go, we're making our deck thinner. Iron Wave is just about a must. We should have bashed first, that's my fault. He's dealing 30, that's a pain. Let's get him this turn. We needed a... Well, that's not quite what we needed. Oh. Bash him and cleave. We're going to take 18. But he should be dead next turn. Oy. There we go. Oh, vulnerability is now much better. I think Wild Strike's worth it. Alright, give me a chest, and we're gonna just basically dance up to that healing area. Oh, nice. Helps our question marks get a little better. I can't... We're, we're dead. We don't want to kill ourselves. Sorry, buddy. We do need to rest. I don't want to. There we go. We lost 5 max HP, but we did get to full. Uh, I think it's worth removing a card here. First, let's look and see what we got. Ooh, Apotheosis. If you could just start in my hand. Toy Ornithopter is also really awesome. See, we do need some block, and we need to uh, gain some guards. So, Rampage won't really work. Finesse is kind of like a card gen. What would we get rid of? Like, I think we have, honestly, too many Havocs in the deck. The wild strike, the the second wind is gonna help out with the wild strikes. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of one of the havocs. 
Just one of them. I'm not going nuts. And a ghostly armor, I think, is really good for block. It's a shame we couldn't get the, uh, the but I like finesse. We, we, we want more cards in our deck. For the most part. No. Well, we can't really do it again, can we? Um... Question mark. We're going to fight an elite next, so I think we do question marks. We want our deck to get a little better. Well, yeah, we'll go golden idol. We're... Let's just take the damage. I mean, it's not like a pain. Yeah, we'll go golden idol. You know, something we need. There we go. Cleave and strike. We almost got... Actually, we do got one. Let's throw it. Don't give us crap in our deck, please. At least we offed one first turn. That's good. And mitigates the damage we're going to be taking. All right, well, Wild Strike. Give me a Havoc. Into a Havoc. And we threw a Defend out there. Taking none. Beautiful. Well done. This game is something that I honestly just like playing every single day. So I'm probably going to keep doing it for a while. Thank you for the Iron Wave. Are we going to be able to f defeat the first boss? I don't know, man. The second win just really fits here. Get rid of all that crap. And there we go. Taking none. He's at one. <laughs> Gets a little bit more life in him. Come on, please. Thank you. War paint is actually kind of funny. Seven block per and another upgraded havoc. Thank you. Hmm. A reckless charge seems like a really good idea. So we need spot weakness. That makes us stronger over the long term. This gentleman, I think we're gonna smith. I have like we need anger to make havoc better. Is basically how this goes. What is spot? We we, we want spot weakness to make us just ridiculous. It has to happen. All right. Well, first things first. Finesse. Now we bash you. And we strike you. I think it's a little better in the iron wave, just just as a tad more damage. Spot weakness, please. Yeah, buddy. So that should work. Then a wild strike should roll him. And we're not gonna do another wild strike, might as well punch him in the face. Oh, second win seems very good here. Just to get rid of some of the crap. I don't think we need another havoc. So let's roll our defend. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, it would have been better if we would have second wind of the defend. And it's totally my fault. All right, we also throw a cleave at him. Taking no damage. We have the chance to perfect this, perfect this guy. I think we do play a Havoc. Havoc to a Havoc to a True Grit. And a defend. Eh, we're going to take some, but... That's right. Like, why are we doing 10? So we have some... Well, if we're not going to perfect him, we might as well just smack at him a little bit harder. We could have, oh well, yeah, and then, let's see what this gives us, strikes fine, we might, we're gonna go all out, we have no real choice, oh hey, never mind, <laughs> we'll, we'll just roll them over, also a good thing, well, we defend, defend, and, I think all this is just about worth drawing with a Havoc, but I don't really want to yet. I'm we'll saving for like, okay, Spot Weakness is just like a must, and then Second Wind makes, means we take no damage. Plus 8 Strength is pretty awesome. 20, huh? I think this is uh, about the best play we can do. 43 damage. You are amazing. <laughs> Well, yeah, we got spot weakness again, and 17 damage, five block. We're gonna, I mean, we're gonna take some, so we might as well go nuts at it. We won't die. We just want to mitigate our HP to make sure we don't, you know, absolutely get destroyed. Um, uh, yeah, we'll play the havoc. Finesse. Thank you for the block. Thank you for the card. Spot weakness is a must. Our strength is ridiculous, and let's do one more havoc. I think that was worth it. We're going to be taking some damage, but he should be dead this turn. Yes, with a 33 damage wild strike. I don't know how this deck is working, man, but it's working. 
at a burn, but <laughs> we're already, like, cycling through a lot of stuff. I think I might do it. A good crowd control. With Havocs, I mean, it's gonna help exhaust our... Well, it's actually, our deck is 24 cards already. We want to, I think, like, we might actually get rid of one of the Havocs. Get rid of a Havoc, and I think a Strike if we do bur Empty Bird Cage. It's just, like, it's just too many. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Basic Strike, and uh, not upgrade it. Like, if we, we can give ourselves one more upgraded Havoc, we'll be okay. Two's a bit too much. Slick to do it doesn't really matter. We can choose where we go. We want to go up here and uh, empty our deck of a card. Immolate, please. Thank you. Huh. Well, I mean, or we can go bam, 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 just knock one down, take less damage. Or immolate, defend. There we are. I mean, it's, it's about the same either way. We just get it burn our deck this way. Kaka. Alright, well, let's see what this does for us. Thank you, Cleave. And then we'll strike you. And then we'll wild strike you to knock you down. And then we'll pop a defend out here because we have nothing better to do. Taking none. So we must. Drawing a cleave again would be nice. We must take this guy down. Havoc. What do you have for me? Thank you for getting rid of the wound. I appreciate it. This will give us... Wow, they're doing like a good bit of damage. Yeah, and we might as well use second wind. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a hit, but that'll be okay. And it's a snowbrainer. Um, what do you get? What are you going to give us? One... We can't get you anyway, so we might as well, like, get a little stronger and take, a, unfortunately, a good bit of damage. Thank you. Darn it. <laughs> At least we can second win and get rid of the burn. Dude, I'm getting a... Uh, I've never played a deck that exhausted so much stuff in my life. This is pretty neat. You just put a bunch of crap in your deck, and then you exhaust it. I think another spot weakness might actually be pretty funny. But uh, like a cleave, the extra crowd control is just pretty amazing. Uh -oh. We don't really have something that uh, synergizes with corruption, because it's all skill-based. What we, would we remove? Probably another strike. Since we have the wild strikes in our deck, I think it sounds like a good idea. And I think a disarm is great, especially when the, uh, we get up to the later boss fights, just for a little bit of defense. Y'all, and we want carnage. It's ethereal. I would play a clash where we're putting too much garbage in our deck. All right, we're we're adding a good bit of cards to our deck now. Uh, let's go question mark. Just kidding. That was a big waste. Let's go question mark again. Oh my goodness. Upgrade all strikes and defense. Let's uh, remove another card. Just make it as thin as humanly possible. I might actually remove another Havoc. Like, the Parasite doesn't really bother me because we have second wind. Actually, let's, let's get rid of another one of you. Oh, I'm really liking the, uh, really liking the question mark path. Our next shop is not, it does not exist, so we can't, we can't do it. We don't have any gold. We should probably start getting, oh, I didn't go to the elite, you dummy. Well, let's smith our last havoc. <laughs> to help us get rid of the, uh, the garbage in our deck. All right, one more. Let's read it. Necronomicon. Okay. We'll take it. If we get, give me anger. I think we need to fight. No, we need. We. 
kind of need to rest, honestly. We've been very free with our HP. We're at 70 now. That's not good. Moment find and power cards. Good. I don't even think we have any powers, but that's fine. We are kind of on a search for anger, but at the same time, hey, give me the boot. This is going to be like... The fastest run to the top ever. Find some potions? Absolutely. Dude, give me two liquid bronze. Actually, no. We don't throw a lot of attacks out there. Usually, it's just like one or two. So, I think two liquid bronze would be nice. And the, the decks for that extra block opportunity. Alright, one more question mark. Yeah, why not? We're going to lose three max HP. But it's a little garbage out of our deck. I knew it was going to be Mr. Stabby. We kind of set up to fight him. Now we would like some, uh... we got to upgrade that True Grit, man. It's like a necessity. 17 and 20. <laughs> Bring it on, son. Sure, give me an Infernal Blade. Oh, we play our Havoc. Thank you for the strike. Play our Carnage. I think we actually play our bash and the defend or the uh, second win. We'll get, I know we'll we'll lose. We'll take our offering too. That's pretty awesome. We get to construct our deck as time goes on. What are you gonna give me? We get pommel strike. Thank you for the havoc. The defend. Stealing eighteen. I think we pop two defends out here. I'm gonna take three, but he takes eighteen. Sure, give me another carnage. I just kind of lost one. We are taking him down. There's our... Uh, okay, we disarm him. I think that's almost a no-brainer, because it really reduces his damage. Iron Wave gives us some block. We can't do both. I think we spot weakness for... Uh, potential in the future. There's our anger. It's a little too late to make it a deck thing now. Three wounds? Not cool, bro. <laughs> Alright, well... I think we got him this turn. Six HP on huh? That's 24 and 12. Yeah, we don't even need to play that. Good to go. Spot weakness is like our thing. We might actually consider getting a second one if it even shows up. Fiend fire is nice too. We're adding too much to this deck. It's becoming pretty well, pretty awesome. I really don't want to heal. Give me a regen potion. That's like two regen potions. We can only four to one. So five, four, three, two, and one. <clears throat> Too good. Who's our boss? That guy. That guy. He doesn't give us much time, does he? Um, an artifact would also be nice. We can only get one thing here. I'm agonizing over this. Our spot weakness. Because we have a chance to, like, havoc it. Sorry, Havoc is a verb now. I live in America. I think it's worth it. We come up here, and we smith. I know this is probably a bad idea, but we're doing it anyway. They're fiend fire. It's going to win the game for us, maybe. Now is not a good chance to cast it, but it's okay. Do we start the game with a Havoc? That was not cool. <laughs> Luckily, we have another one in here. Where that would have been really bad. I might as well throw an emulate. More block would be nice. Hello. You too. Why not? Uh, start working on the riffraff here. To get cleave is a good play, followed by a wild strike. Put that stuff in my deck, see if I care. And a feel no pain will synergize well. I like, we, we draft our deck mid con. I like how, how many Magic the Gathering games do you play like that? We draft our deck mid combat. Play Havoc. Look, exhausted. Got block. Free block. Plus other block. Besides that, this turn is absolute garbage. I think Shockwave is actually pretty viable here, especially with the little tinies hitting, it, hitting at me. And we'll do some finesse. See what Havoc gives us. 
That was actually pretty good. I think we disarmed the bat the big baddie there just to make his strength go down. Shockwave. And that'll be your turn. Um, I don't think we want this stuff. Except evolve. Because <laughs> between that and the fight hand, it's basically like whatever card we want. It kind of gives it to us for free. We're at 19 HP, by the way. Probably going to be lethal to you pretty soon. Um, give me something for free. So True Grit, we're going to play last. Are we dead? No, no, we're not dead. Not yet. <laughs> it might happen. But we're probably dead next turn. <laughs> hey, give me Impervious. Yup. So, unless we do have, like, some sort of miracle jump at us. I don't even think Impervious is enough, man. 25, they're dealing <laughs> 52 damage. This is going to be a short one. Well, if we hit you, you're only doing 38, and we have 30 total HP. There, we did it. That was our play. Give me a pummel. It's great for long-term gain. <laughs> Alright, we made a big mistake that match. Holy crap, dude. We're not very good at this game. But we keep trying. What'll do for this one? We gotta, like, I wanna get my, uh, my gusto up, you know. Playing dailies. Two, okay, that was a bad game. <laughs> We're at 2,000th place. At least we beat Danny Mothers. Anyway, what's going to next watch? If you guys enjoyed this match, click like, button, subscribe, if you want to see more in the future. I think I put too much junk in this deck, honestly. Should have went with a uh, smarter build, but I don't know how to play around Havoc, man. Probably should have just removed every single Havoc on my way up. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Take care.